Kurt Russell, the Disney child star turned Hollywood icon, isn't just known for his memorable roles in action flicks and thrillers. Lately, he's been making waves for something far more provocative, his vocal stance against woke culture. In an industry where towing the line has become the norm, Russell's unapologetic opinions are shaking things up, and Hollywood is anything but pleased. Let's dive into what's driving Russell's outspokenness, and why his comments are sparking such intense debate. But first, it's crucial to understand that this isn't just about one man's opinions. It's about the broader cultural battle raging in Hollywood and beyond. You know, my personal feeling is that there's a big difference between fantasy land and reality. Fantasy land is what we do. Whether it's writing a song, a book, or making a movie or TV show, that's fantasy land. And we all know it, Russell says, with the kind of directness that has become his signature. You know, my, my personal feeling is that there's a big difference between fantasy land mm -hmm. and reality. Fantasy land is what we do. Um, it's a, you're either writing something, writing a song, uh, writing a book, doing a movie, right. doing a television sure. show. That's, that's fantasy land. Mm -hmm. Russell isn't just drawing a line in the sand between himself and the woke culture proponents. He's doing it between Hollywood's fantasy world and the real world the rest of us live in. For Russell, the issue isn't merely about differing opinions. It's about a fundamental disconnect between the ideals being pushed by woke culture and the gritty realities that many Americans face daily. In Russell's eyes, Hollywood has veered too far into fantasy, not in the sense of creating fictional worlds, but in its increasingly idealistic and sometimes, according to him, delusional approach to societal issues. This shift, Russell argues, is not only out of touch with reality, but is also actively harming the freedoms that many have fought hard to protect. It's clear that Russell sees woke culture as more than just a political movement. He views it as a threat to the very fabric of American society. And while many in Hollywood are content to ride the wave of social justice rhetoric, Russell is digging in his heels, prepared to take the hits for standing by his beliefs. One of the most contentious areas where Russell's views diverge sharply from the Hollywood mainstream is gun control. In an era where the push for stricter gun laws has become a rallying cry for many on the left, Russell's defense of the Second Amendment is not just contrarian, it's downright provocative. If you think gun control or something like that is going to change a terrorist point of view, I think you're out of your mind. I think anyone who believes that is absolutely insane, Russell states, without a hint of hesitation. Yeah. Mine happens to be that uh, I think there's a very strong reason the Founding Fathers had for the Second Amendment and that is that no, go no government ever hasn't had to um, fight its own people, and its own people hasn't had to fight its own government. We had our civil war. Russell's argument is built on the premise that disarming law-abiding citizens doesn't make them safer. It makes them vulnerable. He views gun ownership as a fundamental right, one that's essential for self-defense in an increasingly unpredictable world. For Russell, the real danger lies not in the presence of guns, but in the naivety of thinking that laws alone can deter those intent on doing harm. In case you're wondering what I really meant, I have three words for you. Mutually assured destruction. Russell says, hammering home his belief that the best way to prevent violence is by ensuring that everyone has the means to defend themselves. This isn't just about guns. It's about a philosophy of self-reliance and personal responsibility. Russell argues that the Second Amendment is what stands between a free society and tyranny. And he's not afraid to challenge anyone, celebrity or politician, who thinks otherwise. Beyond the political arena, Russell is also taking aim at what he sees as the corrosive influence of woke culture on Hollywood itself. According to Russell, the industry's obsession with political correctness is stifling creativity and turning storytelling into a platform for ideological preaching. To survive in woke culture, you have to become a liar, Russell asserts. You have to pretend that fat is beautiful, that race obsession is normal, and that someone like Dylan Mulvaney is a woman who should be included in female spaces. We're being told we have to lie repeatedly to survive in corporate culture. Russell's point here isn't just about personal integrity. It's about the integrity of the art itself. Well, you know, this, these are these things where, first of all, I was in a situation, we do what we, what we call the dog and pony. Right. We're out doing the dog and pony selling a picture. And you get kind of, sometimes you get uh, what you feel is a, a slightly ambushed by somebody who's really got an agenda. And that's sort of, I think, that's my opinion of what happened to me the other day. He argues 
that when Hollywood prioritizes ideology over storytelling, the result is movies and shows that feel forced, disingenuous, and ultimately unwatchable. He's not alone in this critique. A growing number of filmmakers and actors are beginning to speak out about the pressures to conform to woke standards, even when those standards compromise the quality of the work. For Russell, this trend isn't just unfortunate, it's a betrayal of what Hollywood is supposed to stand for, creativity, expression, and pushing the boundaries of what's possible on screen. Russell's libertarian leanings also influence his views on another hot-button issue, gay marriage. While Russell doesn't oppose same-sex unions, he does take issue with what he sees as the preferential treatment granted to the LGBTQ community under the guise of equality. There's an issue that people aren't talking about with gay marriage. My beef is with the advantages given to anyone just because they live together, have a ring, and have had a ceremony, Russell explains. For Russell, the problem isn't with the idea of gay marriage itself, but with the way it's being used as a political tool. He's concerned that the push for marriage equality has become more about scoring ideological points. Well, I think there's an issue that people aren't talking about with gay marriage. Uh, there's a lot of things that they, they beat around the bush with. Um, my beef, I'm a libertarian, so my beef with, with uh, advantages given to anybody because they happen to live together and have a, have a ring and have, made it, have, have had a ceremony, I don't think married couples should get an advantage of any kind. So my beef isn't with, as a pol political uh, uh, move, it's not, it's not with, with gay marriage, it's with why, why, why does anybody get an advantage over anybody else because they happen to live with somebody and have a family. I don't, I don't, I don't follow that. Then about genuinely advancing the cause of freedom and equality for all. Of course, taking a stand against the prevailing winds of Hollywood isn't without its risks. Russell has faced significant backlash from other celebrities, particularly those who align themselves with the more progressive side of the spectrum. One notable example is his public spat with actor Mark Ruffalo who criticized Russell's views on marriage equality. Kurt's views on marriage equality are outdated and harmful, Ruffalo said in an interview, adding fuel to an already heated debate. But Russell, never one to back down, responded with his characteristic bluntness. You come for me, and you'd better be ready for the full force of my response. Russell's willingness to stand by his convictions, even when they put him at odds with his peers, has earned him both admiration and scorn but it's also isolated him within an industry that increasingly demands ideological conformity. For Russell, though, the price of silence is far higher than the cost of speaking out. Recently, rumors began circulating that Russell had cut ties with the Walt Disney Company due to their increasingly woke agenda. The reports claim that Russell was fed up with the direction the company was taking and decided to part ways. I'm sick and tired of woke culture, and I've wasted my career with Disney. Russell was quoted as saying, but as sensational as this claim might be, it appears to be more fiction than fact. There's no solid evidence to support the idea that Russell has severed his relationship with Disney, though it's clear that he's not afraid to call them out when he disagrees with their approach. The rumor, whether true or not, speaks to a larger issue in Hollywood, the growing divide between those who embrace woke culture and those who resist it. For Russell, this isn't just about personal politics. It's about the future of the industry and the kinds of stories it will tell. At the core of Russell's arguments is a deep concern for the values that he believes are essential to a free society, whether it's the right to bear arms, the freedom to create without ideological constraints, or the ability to live according to one's own beliefs. Russell sees these principles as under attack by a culture that increasingly prioritizes conformity over individuality. Dozens of people die every day because of criminals who take the law into their own hands. And gun control isn't going to stop that. It's absolutely insane to think otherwise, Russell states, leaving no room for doubt about where he stands. Russell's message is a call to action, not just for Hollywood, but for anyone who values freedom and creativity. He's challenging us to look beyond the easy answers and to fight for a society where individuals can think for themselves speak their minds and create without fear of retribution. And that's the thing about celebrity interviews. No matter how much you think you know what's coming, you're always in for a surprise. Whether they're taking down woke culture or sparking a debate that rages on for days, stars like Kurt Russell remind us that Hollywood is never short on drama. So what do you think? Is Kurt onto something or is he off the mark? 
Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more unfiltered takes from the world of entertainment. See you in the next one.